In this project, we're going to use the primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, and we're going to mix them to make the secondary colors, purple, orange, and green. This is what's called a color wheel. Color wheels show you what colors are used to make secondary colors from the primary colors. All you have to do is look at one of the secondary colors, and any primary color on the outside of it are the colors you use to mix, to make those colors. So we're gonna mix colors in our project today. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start and make a line from corner to corner on our paper. It can be wavy or zigzagged if you want it to be. We're gonna do this on, from both corners, from all four corners. We're gonna have a line that kind of crosses in the middle. After that, I'm gonna make a third line that crosses right in the middle. Right now your paper should look something like this, with three lines crossing in the middle. Now we're gonna label each section with the first letter of all the primary and secondary colors in this order. Primary color red, to secondary color orange, to primary color yellow, to secondary color green, to primary color blue, to secondary color purple. So right now, your paper should look something like this. I can leave this paused on the screen for a second and let you catch up. Now we're going to mix all of our colors using just primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. So I'm going to start with primary color red, and I'm going to put that in the section that says R for red. Paint the whole area and leave no white, just in the section that says R for red. Now, whenever you are switching colors, we are washing our brush. That way we don't mix up our colors. Now I'm going to paint the primary color yellow in on the Y area for yellow. The primary color yellow. After that, I'm going to wash my brush again. This is important because if you don't, you get you know, some of one color and another color, and then you can never mix them exactly right. And then I am going to paint in blue, primary color blue, in the section B for blue, for primary color blue. For the rest of this, we're going to have to mix our primary colors to make our secondary colors. So I'm going to take some blue and put it on the newspaper and painting on top of. Make sure you're painting on top of something so you don't ruin your tables. And then I'm going to wash my brush. Again, washing your brush is very important because then you don't ruin your paints and you can use the colors you want to anytime you bring them out. So I am going to take some yellow on my clean brush and I'm going to mix it in with that blue and see what I get. I get secondary color green. I'm going to wash my brush a little bit. I think I'm going to put a little bit more yellow in there because I like brighter green. Once I get the green I want, I am going to put it in the G area for secondary color green. And after that, I'm going to wash my brush. Now I'm going to take some yellow and I'm going to mix it with red to make secondary color orange. There's a little hint. It takes a little bit more yellow than red to make a good orange that you would recognize as orange. But red and yellow will make secondary color orange. Once you get the orange that you like, put it in the area O for secondary color orange. And after that, I'm going to wash my brush. Now secondary color purple is made by mixing blue and red. So I'm going to take some blue, put it on my newspaper, and then I'm going to wash my brush and I'm going to mix in some red. And then I'm going to mix my secondary color purple into the P area for purple, secondary color purple. And then once again, I'm going to wash my brush. And there you go. We painted with our primary colors. And then we mix those primary colors to make our secondary colors. I hope you have fun with it.